Beginning in Blender 3.2, there's a new Curve Pen tool available. This tool allows you to construct and edit curves rapidly. In order to use the pen tool, I need to add a curve to my scene. In edit mode, I delete all the vertices and choose the curve pen tool. When I click in the viewport, I now see a new vertex. I can continue to click and add new segments. If I click and then immediately drag my mouse, I can form a curve. This will be familiar to anyone who's worked with software like Photoshop or Illustrator. When I'm finished with my shape, I can click on the first vertex and close the shape. If I want to curve an area between any vertices, I simply hold down the left mouse button and drag the curve in any direction. I still have the same options of scaling, rotating, and manipulating the handles of the vertices, just like a regular curve. I also have the same geometry and other options, just like any other curve. In object mode, I can also convert the curve to a mesh and further manipulate it. I'll now use this Curve Pen tool to quickly make a clay pot. I'll bring in a reference image of a clay pot. The link is in the description. I'll move the reference image into position and add a curve. In edit mode, I delete the curve vertices and select the curve pen tool. I then start from the top center of the clay pot and follow the reference as closely as possible. If you've ever used the pen tool in Photoshop or Inkscape, this will be very familiar to you. I'll only make one half of the clay pot since I'll use the spin tool to complete it. Under the Object Data Properties tab, I lower the resolution preview to 4. This means there will be fewer vertices when I convert it to a mesh. In Object Mode, I convert the curve to a mesh. In edit mode, I make sure I have everything selected. With the spin tool selected, I spin the mesh around the z-axis to complete the clay pot. I make sure not to overlap the beginning and ending vertices. I select the two edges of the gap and bridge the edge loops. I then add a single edge loop in the center and then dissolve the two outer edge loops.
Using the M key, I merge everything by distance to remove any doubles. Under the Overlays menu, I check to make sure the normals are facing the correct direction. If they're red, they need to be flipped using Alt-N. In Object Mode, I use Ctrl-A to apply all the transforms. In edit mode, I select the top interface, and using E and S, I scale them inward to add some thickness to the rim. I then extrude it down along the z-axis to form the inner part of the clay pot. In Object Mode, I shade Auto Smooth. If I see any odd issues with the mesh, I'll dissolve some of the loop cuts that are causing some pinching. I also add a subdivision surface modifier. I split the viewport and open the UV editor and the shader editor. In edit mode, I select a center vertical edge loop, the outer top edge loop, and the bottom edge loop. and mark the seams. I then use the U key to unwrap the clay jar. Using control and spacebar, I focus on the UV editor. I select a relatively square face, and in vertex select mode, I select the top two vertices, and using S, Y, and zero, I flatten the edge along the y-axis. I repeat this for the bottom two vertices. For the two vertical vertices, I scale them along the x-axis. I repeat this process for the other vertical vertices. I then select the face, and then use the L key to select the rest of the island. I then right click and choose Follow Active Quads. This will now give me a straight UV. I repeat this process for the other curved island. After moving and scaling the islands, I use Control Space Bar to return to the regular workspace. The material I'll be using is from Ambient CG. The link is in the description. Also, if you're following along, make sure you have the Node Wrangler add-on activated. I make sure I'm in Material Preview so I can see my materials. I make a new material for the clay pot. I 
I select the principled shader and using Control Shift T, I open the texture maps and then make any changes as needed. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and turn on notifications. If you want to request a tutorial, please leave a comment below. Have a good day.